And hey guys, it's me, your friendly neighborhood Pokemaniac, coming at you with another heartbreaking episode of Pokemon White version. And it is a heartbreaking episode because we are finally leaving Driftvale City after uh, th defeating Clay of the Driftvale City Gym, uh, the, the Minor King himself. And we are finally uh, leaving both Driftvale and the Heartbreaker, Charles. It was never meant to be. Uh, and moving on to Route 6, because um, not only did we beat Clay, but he also wouldn't give us our TM until we uh, met him on Route 6. And, of course, it would not be a new route without one of the two, the delinquent duo, coming and approaching us. So, Bianca, from stage right. Maniac! Where? Guess what? Guess what? What, Bianca? I swear, if you say chicken butt, I will slap you across the face right- Hey, were you at the gym just now? I mean, yeah, kinda. Why? Oh, hey, that's Drip Vale's gym badge! Oh, that's totally cool! That's amazing! No, no, no! I can't get distracted being impressed by your shiny new badge and your your, your luscious looking full lips and those, those, those twinkle and, and you when I stare deep into your eyes. No, I'm also a trainer! At times like this, you battle, right? Um, I, 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 I guess that's right. I don't know. I didn't sign up for it. I didn't make the rules. All right, so we've got uh, Miss Billboard Brow herself, Bianca, once again, because, like I said, it would not be a new route if we weren't battling uh, one of the two, um, one of our two best friends. And Bianca, um, I'll tell you what, she actually got marginally more intimidating, quite literally, because she is going to start out with her Herdier on level 26 with the ability Intimidate, with the moves Helping Hand, Takedown, Workup, and Crunch, which is actually kind of terrifying if you ask me, but we're going to go ahead and throw K. Rule out here because K. Rule did not get any screen time in the Driftvale Gym. That show was absolutely stolen by our duo, mate, and uh, of course, um, with K. Rule being part dark type, predicting that crunch was just oh so easy. I couldn't help myself, but I'll show you what a real crunch looks like. So we're going to have K. Rule to you know, take a bite out of Scruff McGruff, and it's like Scruff McGruff would take a bite out of crime, I suppose. Um, and of course, that's going to get him all worked up. My Pokemon can take that, I'm sure. Well, probably. Well, maybe it could take one of them, Bianca, but it's definitely not going to take two because that thing is out of here. All right, not too shabby. However, a Herdier is actually quite the Pokemon, um, particularly with Stab Takedown. Um, if you let this thing get a couple workups up and then let it use Takedown, I mean, you're you're going to... Well, I guess you're going to get taken down. I don't know how to explain it better than the, than the move itself. And with that, K Rule's going to level 31, which ain't too shabby at all. All right, up next is her Pantsage. All right, well, you know the drill at this point, guys. Um, Pantsage is her elemental monkey. Obviously, this is going to be different depending on what starter you picked. Of course, we started with Oshawott, so we are going to be looking at a Pantsage right here at level 26. Evolve this thing already. Jeez, oh man. It's the pure grass type ability gluttony. You've heard it all before. With the moves Leech Seed, Bite, Seed Bomb, and Torment. We're going to go ahead and switch out to our... Uh, our own monkey, a fire monkey that's fully evolved, which I think Bianca should know. And let's go over. If you had chosen Tepig instead of Oshawott as your starter, you would be looking at a Panpour in level 26. Uh, pure water type with the ability Gluttony with the moves Water Sport, Bite, Scald, and Taunt. So actually uh, marginally annoying. And if for some reason you had chosen Snivy, you'd be looking at a Panseer. Pure fire type, level 26 with the ability Gluttony, Yawn, Bite, Flame Burst, and Amnesia. Uh, uh, what were we talking about, uh, just then? Um, I could have sworn there was a monkey on the screen, um, uh, just a second ago. And, alright, so, Bianca's just going straight for it, right to her ace in the hole. We're gonna go ahead and throw Morpha back out, because we ain't done switch training. Now, Bianca's ace, uh, I guess she's saving, well, she's saving her biggest surprise for last, I should say. It's no surprise that she's got herself a pig knight, uh, if you had chosen Oshawott. If you hadn't chosen Oshawott, this would... Be an awfully big surprise if she had a pig knight but it she is going to have a pig knight if you had chosen oshawott on level 28 it is firefighting type with the ability blaze it with the moves arm thrust smog rollout and takedown now takedown i'm actually a little bit concerned about i really don't think that um morpha is going to be able to take one of those uh very well so we are just going to go ahead and switch out into um well 
He knows how to deal with it. We're going to go ahead and throw out Skipper. And while Skipper's coming out here to save the day, let's go ahead and talk about if you had chosen Tepic, you'd be looking at Servine, level 28, pure grassite with the ability Overglow, with the moves Leaf Tornado, Leech Seed, Mega Drain, and Slam. See that takedown? That takedown is exactly why I wanted to switch out, um, you know, because I, I genuinely do not believe... Uh, that our poor old Morpho would have been able to uh, to tank one of those. So we're going to go ahead and scout this thing. Now, it can't burn, I'm pretty sure, but um, I don't expect this thing to be uh, living that much longer anyway. And if you had chosen Snivy for whatever uh, Arceus Forsaken reason, it would be looking at a Dewat on level 28. Uh, pure Water type with the ability Torrent with the moves Razor Shell, Fury Cutter, Water Pulse, and Revenge. Uh, which is a dish best served, well, hot in Skipper's instance because it's, uh, he's scalding. And last but no, certainly not least, I mean, clearly not least on um, Bianca's team, she is going to go ahead and send out her Musharna, which she will have regardless of what starter you had picked. Now, Musharna! Look at that thing. This thing is actually somewhat of an issue. So, she didn't decide to evolve her monkey, but she decided to evolve her Musharna, which, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I guess I can uh, sympathize, or at least I can understand, I suppose. Now, Musharna is going to be on level 26, pure psychic-type Pokemon, with the ability Forewarn, as you can see. It now knows about uh, Morpha's uh, hidden power. Oh, no. With the moves Defense Curl, Lucky Chance, Psybeam, and Hypnosis. This thing can be a little annoying, um, but also it is now... Like, it is so bulky. Like, you have no idea. If you do not have something that will be, um, that will be leveraging, um, super effective hits, this thing is actually going to be an issue to take down. Now, you saw it use Lucky Chant. Lucky Chant is a move that prevents critical hits from happening. Jeez, oh man. We're level 31! Look at the damage that did! That was, like, nothing comparatively. Um, this is kind of bad, right? <laughs> I'm crossing my arms much like K. Rule right now. This is kind of bad. Yeah, K. Rule's bad too, and uh, he's gonna show you why he's the baddest, uh, baddest croc uh, around. So we're gonna go ahead and finish off this Musharna um, with another crunch. But again, like we're five levels higher than this thing. That was a super effective stab move. Oh, I lost. Did I win? No, no, you did not. And well, there, there you go. That's uh, that, that's the outcome. The Musharna is actually like super bulky. Uh, they, it is something to actually look out for. Um, it's probably not going to kill you, but it will be rather annoying to deal with uh, the whole time. So just be prepared. I haven't had a Pokemon battle with you in a while, Maniac. It has been a few episodes, hasn't it? You've become totally strong, huh? Well, not as strong as I think I could be. <laughs> Stop it, you. I'm not that strong, so I don't know how to say it, but I think you're way too into how your Pokemon feel. Oh, you know what? I wanted to share this HM with you, Maniac. What was it again? It's HMO2 Fly! Wow! That's actually a very useful HM, funny enough. Thank you, Bianca. That's so, that's really good. My papa gave it to me after he tried to take me home that time. I'm sure it's so I can come home anytime he wants, though. Aww. And they have a story reason to justify why she would have... That's like... Oh, this game's so good. Oh, hey! I, I, I have this to share with Sharon... Oh, hey, I have to share this with Sharon, too. No, I mean, yeah, you don't have to. It could be our little secret. See you, Maniac. Bye-bye. Uh, Ciao, Bianca. I see, you, see you in the next route when you want to battle again. I don't know why I just went into this accent. Uh, but coming up here, we have ourselves in Ultra Ball, yeah? This is so good. This is, this is a ball. It is like Great Ball. So it, well, Great Ball is great. This is Ultra. All right, and, gee, I wonder... um. What? Oh, man. Oh, Drifthill music going away. That's fine. And I wonder what this sign says. Route 6. Gee! Couldn't have guessed. But welcome to Route 6. Route 6 is actually a very pretty route. I believe it was mentioned to us um, prior uh, to coming here. Funny enough, I believe uh, someone had said that there was an old man who was looking for legendary Pokemon on Route 6. So that might be something to look into. Probably not uh, with any immediacy, but that is A-OK. -okay. Uh, we have Pokemon. We have a team of Pokemon that we're working with. And uh, by golly, we are gonna, we're going to be working with them for a while. So, anywho, coming over here. That is some really ominous music. Like, that is like some music I'd expect from like... I don't know. Like a, one of the seven sages of Team Plasma, not just... Some random scientist. Hmm. You are in an interesting case. Please help me with my uh, experiment. I need an adult. I am an adult. Mm -hmm. All right. And scientist William is going to fight us. And he's got himself. Oh! 
Oh, it's a Darling Deerling. Look at that thing. Oh, it is so adorable. So, Deerling is a Pokemon we haven't seen thus far. Deerling, you can actually catch on this route. Now, Deerling are interesting because uh, they are a very unique type. They are normal grass type Pokemon. So, um, real fast, guys, we're going to go ahead and test our uh, hidden power. So, I need to be able to listen to see if this is super effective or not. Okay, X Defend. Oh, uh, yeah, good for you. Okay, it is not fire. So I guess that leads me to believe it's super effective against ice. It was neutral against dark. And it's neutral against grass. So I'm pretty sure that that, that is hidden power. I almost said super power. <laughs> it's super, super power rock. Uh, that is hidden power rock. I am fairly certain. Um, we can test that a little bit further uh, later on. But uh, it's good, good to know for now. Now... I know this thing just used an X Defend, but we're going to go ahead and try to um, Psy Shock this thing, see if we can't do some more damage than, like, Hidden Power would. Uh, which, of course, we could. But we haven't uh, we haven't said enough about Deerling. So, Deerling is a very unique Pokemon. <laughs> this is difficult to get the result with this method. I'll bet, because all your test subjects probably keep running away in fear. All right, so, Deerling is a very unique Pokemon that you can find on this route. And uh, while it is a very decent, it is legitimately a decent Pokemon, uh, we're going to ignore that. While it is literally a legitimately a decent Pokemon, um, the thing that makes Deerling unique is that uh, Deerling have, uh, I guess, an outside of battle aesthetic effect. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to say is that depending on what season you're in, your Deerling and then Sawsbuck, the evolution, uh, will change its appearance based on what season you're in which i think is a lovely idea and i'm very sad they haven't implemented it um in later generations because i think that's great pokemon with just skin love water type moves and rainy weather i'm talking about the ability of these pokemon of course uh, th th thanks for that i suppose it oh there's an item down there and i want it but i can't have it okay moving right along so you can't find Deerling on this route. Again, just from uh, aside from being a solid Pokemon, it's cool that they have these gimmicks going on. Um, and Deerling overall, yeah, just decent Pokemon. We are totally in sync. Using our amazing connection, I will teach you all about the ranges. All right, Carmen San Diego. I haven't run into one of you in a while. But, like, I mean, cut that. The fit goes hard, all right? All right, and we got Shantae. So apparently she's a genie in disguise. And, ah, she's got an Amolga. Okay, we can test out our theory. Um, I don't know if, uh, Morpha's gonna survive a solid hit, but we're gonna go ahead and use Hidden Power, um, to see if this Emolga is in, it, the Emolga's part flying, so we're gonna, in fact, see if this is, a you know, a Hidden Power rock or not. Alright, are you rock or not? That was not very effective. What Hidden Power do I have? Super effective against ice. Hang on. Okay, not very effective. Steel! It's steel! Oh my gosh, it's steel. It's not very effective against Emolga because it's electric. Oh! Okay, That's, uh, that, th that threw me for a heck of a loop there for a second. I could not think... Of course, I... I often forget that ice is weak to steel because it just doesn't come up very often, but that that's very interesting. Okay, all right. I get it, I get it. Um, that can be helpful against, well, I suppose, ice types. Very helpful against rock types, should we run into any. Um, ooh, future sight. Is that something we need? We, we would want? That would be actually kind of nifty. Um, actually, no, I'm pretty happy with Morpha's move set right now, actually, so we're just going to give up on future sight because um morph is probably going to be killing everything before uh, future sight would even get a chance to go off honestly so that's very very interesting we, again we're going to keep morph up front we're still switch training um morph is basically caught up to uh the rest of the team at this point in time um but you know uh morph is still pretty weak i suppose uh, overall so we're gonna go ahead and give morph us just a little bit longer in the uh, hot seat for um uh, exp uh, grinding, I suppose, is what I'm trying to say. So, anywho, we're going to go ahead and just bleh, uh, <laughs> sneeze on this deerling and watch it fall over. Um, its coat would be different. Um, th that is its summer coat, if I'm not mistaken. In fact, we learned all about you. Did you learn anything you lack? All right. Did you know much about this berry? You mean... 
stocky. All right, and we get ourselves a cherry berry. Okay, I like I like cherry berry because it rhymes. Uh, you may hear the sound of breathing Pokemon. It. Okay, someone's been out in uh, nature uh, on the berries for a little too long. Uh, we should also probably bust out the um, dowsing machine to see if we're missing anything, which it doesn't appear like we are so far. Um, so Ed, that's a, a put another check mark in the column for Jake wins, and another check mark in the loose column for the, 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 the dowsing machine because we have pulled it out like three or four times, and it has uh, yielded no results. Pudding. Boring rain, fighting Pokemon uh, uh, again. <laughs> all right, uh, all right, Parasol Lady Nicole. She's got a very deep singing voice. I don't know what to tell you. Chocolate rain, hear this sad melody and defeat. Alrighty, so not too shabby, and as you guys, I don't know if you guys saw that, but Morpha absolutely just destroyed this crazy frog lady. She had a bunch of temples, and, uh, well, I mean, quite frankly, uh, temple, or uh, temple, my goodness, jeez, oh man, I had it absolutely, I had to reset my brain there for a second. Uh, yeah, Morpha lived on one HP and absolutely decimated all those tadpoles in his path, uh, which is, uh, pretty, pretty dope if you ask me. So, uh, once again, a uh, good job, Morpha. But also, it was a bunch of temples, and they got Morpha down to 1 HP. So, uh, clearly why he needs more sh uh, switch training. All right, what do you have to say for you? Why is that so creepy? I feel invest research and investigate your Pokemon. Mm. Please never, ever say that to me again. Do not speak to me or my son again, uh, Scientist Ron. All right, oh, nice one, Ron. Why? I sneeze. Can I not sneeze anymore? All right. I must analyze my defeat. All right. Don't 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 be analyzing no one's feet now, okay? That's just... You're already weird enough with your music and your horrendous approach to people. Touch grass. Not like this one, but like more grass, I suppose. Ugh. All right. So coming over here, we can come and pick ourselves up a hyper pot ion, which ain't too shabby. Not so bad. And let's go ahead and go down here. Oh, fine. I was actually about to mention how long this super repel was up, but my goodness. Uh, we're, while we're in here, we're going to go ahead and use another movement milk on Morpha. Because Morpha needs it. My goodness. Morpha needs to drink his milk so he can uh, you know, get some strong bones in that gelatinous uh, uh, body that he's got. All right, we're going to go ahead and throw, throw up another super repel up and get this item over here. Uh, and what could it be, I wonder? And it's an elixir, which actually, hey, that's not too bad, actually. Um, of all the things that we have collected on uh, this route, that is probably one of the better ones. Uh, coming up here, we have Researching the Year Seasons, the Season Research Lab. Now, uh, a bunch of nerds all live in uh, this house right here, as you can tell. And, ooh, trash can, trash can, trash can, trash can. Foiled again. All right, what do you have to say? Some Pokemon change their appearance depending on the season. Yeah, like one in particular. Could this also be a type of evolution? No. No, it's it, it's just nature. That that happens with real life deer as well. All right, and I would know because my parents have apparently been um, leaving out bowls of corn uh, for deer in their backyard, and now they um you know have basically uh, <laughs> tamed uh, a bunch of deer in this point. My goodness, someone likes to yap. Uh, yeah. So um, he wants us to bring a deerling. Uh, well, I don't have one right now, you fool. Um, this guy wants us to capture a deerling and then bring it to him every single season, um, which, honestly, I don't think is worth it too much. I don't quite remember off the top of my head what they give you for doing that. Uh, for doing that. Doing that. Jeez, what? Pittsburgh or something? Uh, temperature, humidity. Yeah, okay, yeah, very nice. Okay, so you can just get some stuff by showing these scientists uh, some deerling. Um, nothing super important and nothing uh, critically important to the game. Uh, to our quest at hand. And, yeah, we're still looking fine. We're aight. We aight. Let's just go right ahead and uh, challenge this. I wonder what she's going to have. Ivan unlocks a mechanism and finds the secret of your power. Um, it's steel. We we figured it out. It was it was steel the whole time. All right. And, uh, oh, oh, oh. humna, humna, humna. All right. And, of course, she's got a deerling. But, yeah. Anyway, it, apparently my parents have, like, um, you know, been feeding the deer from the back, from the backyard. And, um. Uh, yeah, they, now they have, like, they're on, like, their, like, third or fourth generation of deer. So they're, like, on, like, the food route, and the deer are n 
they are so used to my parents that they are nearly unfazed by them actually getting close to them um, to the point of like almost being able to pet them and uh, my mom loves it because you know it's you know deer and nature in the backyard um, my dad loves it because you know if uh, he says if everything hits the fan um, they've got a food source <laughs> so uh, anyway hey what are you looking at old man huh huh what do I look like to you huh whoa you, you, you never seen a Pokemon like me before have you because I'm not a Pokemon I'm a human Quit looking at me, old man. You want to fight? You want to? You're so lucky this river's in the way. My goodness, people nowadays. I tell you what. All right, coming over here and oh, that's not a Pokeball. All right, say hello to a Pokemon we I don't think we've run into thus far. It's a Fungus. Uh, yeah. Um, the references have not started yet, and I will not be the one to start them. So, as you can tell, the uh, mushroom cap of this Pokemon uh, very much resembles a Pokeball, so it kind of blends in. Much like the Voltorbs and Electrodes of yore, uh, you can run into Amoongus in the wild, um, just sitting in the grass like this. Amoongus are phenomenal... Or f Fungus are a phenomenal Pokemon, and oh my gosh, speaking of phenomenal Pokemon, we gotta wait on this, because Morpha is finally evolving. Alright, oh, our beautiful little Solosis, what's it gonna turn into? All right, yeah, like uh, that's that's got to be painful. Like they just splitting like at like a molecular molecular level and being rebuilt. I don't. I get it, it's two Digimon. If there's one thing to complain about this game, it's 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 the it's the evolution animation. All right, and we got ourselves a Duosian. All right, so from Morph or Morph from Solosis Solo to Duosian, a duo. All right, not too shabby. And let's go ahead and check on these stats. Uh, now that Morpha uh, has evolved, um, his stats are actually um, decent, and we can actually throw him out into battle um, without, you know, too much worry about him getting absolutely bopped. So, taking a look, 102 special attack. That is incredible. Like, that is just nuts. All right, defense not doing fantastic. It is just slightly better than attack, but again, he's negative defense nature, which, I mean, there's not much we can do about that. But 45 special defense is okay. Um, yeah, Skipper's looking pretty good. Uh, okay, so, I mean, well, I mean, Mojo Jojo's fully evolved, so that doesn't count. And boy, Morpha's doing way better than Stewart, that's for sure. So, not too shabby. Um, again, this is not Morph. this isn't even Morpha's final form. Um, so we still got a little bit of a ways to go, so, um, not so bad. Um, and that special attack stat is just off the charts. Nuts! Why did Pokemon... Water fun with Pokemon! I thought it was water Pokemon are fun, but no. Water fun with Pokemon! Do you want to play with us? You probably could have phrased that a little better, but yes. I do. Tihan Tihana? That's an interesting name. Alrighty, so a couple of things to mention here. Number one, um, it's... I have learned an unfortunate truth that Morpha's butt seems to have, uh, moved to the back of his head as opposed to, you know, where it was prior, which, I don't know, I guess that was his head, so his whole butt was a head, but now he's got, I, I it, his back's price not flattering, okay, and also, we are looking at a Pokemon we have not seen thus far, and that is Frillish, alright, we have one last Psy Shock, so uh, this better kill, uh, because Hidden Power of Steel is not going to be very effective against this thing. So, a Frillish. Okay, blink and you miss it. Frillish is a very unique Pokemon. It is the Water Ghost type. Phenomenal Pokemon. Oh, I lost, but it's fun, so I'm satisfied. So, Frillish. Um, very unique Pokemon. Water and Ghost type Pokemon. It is what I would probably consider to be, like, the one other good Water type uh, in this generation, um, if I'm being totally honest here. Uh, we get ourselves a Leaf Stone, not too shabby, and I'm going to guess that this is a, uh, a Fungus Amoongus. Um, Frillish evolves into, um, well, it, it evolves into, to, into the Pringles guy. Uh, there are two versions, there's the pink version and the blue version. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head if that means male or female, or if it's like, you know, route dependent, kind of like how, uh, um, uh, uh, gast Gastrodons were. Oh my gosh. I, I, I... I called him Autumn for so long, I just didn't, uh, Shell Loss and Gastrodons were in, uh, fourth gen, oh, well, Pokemon, um, Di Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum specifically, oh my goodness, why does my brain not work anymore, okay, my brain don't work so good no more, guys, 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw Mojo Jojo up front so we can uh, get him some training since Morpha is, uh, well, has recently evolved. Uh, probably doesn't need the switch training as much anymore, uh, or at all, really, because now Morpha can just hold his own as part of the team. I'll show you how energetic I've become just by being here. Okay. Um, I hope I read that right. Again, my brain's not working too good. I'm sorry I gave you a very feminine voice there, Richard. <laughs> I love that. I love people just battle crying after, uh, before or after a battle. Um, but anyway, uh, I am, I am so, uh, inclined to, uh, say, what the F, Richard? Um, you know, just because, uh, that, 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 that's how it is. I do it for the vine. All right. Um, I, I can't help myself. I, obviously it's, it's, it's a fungus. Um, I don't think I got to finish explaining Fungus because Morpha evolved, so we we are just an absolute mess this episode, guys. I don't know what to tell you. So, uh, Fungus evolved into Amoongus. They are grass poison type. Phenomenally defensive Pokemon. Um, just great all-around Pokemon. Uh, I can't recommend it highly enough if you um, need a um, grass poison type for your team. Um, absolutely phenomenal Pokemon, so... I'll go ahead and pick it up. George Stone Cave seems like a complicated maze, but actually it's a straight road. Um, thank you, kind sir. Um, I don't know why he's standing on this bridge like it's like he's gonna challenge anyone who tries to cross it to a duel, or maybe they have to answer his riddles, <laughs> or maybe you have to bring a goat or a deerling to, for him to eat before he'll let you pass. All right, and uh, oh well, this is awkward, isn't it? Here on Route 6, there's a place called Maestrauton Cave. Supposedly deep in that cave, you can find an amazing Pokemon called Cobalion. Or Cobalion, as I used to call it. Who was said to have protected Pokemon from a sea of fire in ancient Unova. If you can use that move called Surf, that lets you move over the water's surface, maybe you can see Cobalion. Alright, so uh, Cobalion. Uh, thanks, old man. This is definitely that guy that uh, they were referencing, um, who just stands... Uh, out in the middle of nowhere, and, um, you know, talks about legendary Pokemon, so, um, Miss, here, have this! Oh, thank, oh, thank you! It's a shiny stone! Now, uh, we saw Minchino earlier. Shiny stones will evolve your Minchino and a couple other Pokemon, but Minchino's the only one that's coming to mind right now. Again, like I said, uh, nothing else in the old noggin's working, so. Um, oh, dear, your Pokemon, somehow, they don't seem well. Uh, jo Good job, Sherlock. Uh, you got any other mysteries to solve? Well, I, man, I, why am I so mean? She's healing. She's healing our team for us. Oh my goodness! Thank you, thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. It's about the about decision to go to the Celestial Tower on Route Seven. I have to ring the bell for my pet now. Oh, now I'm depressed. Um, I can't get to that track. Can I get to that trash can? Yeah. Oh, foiled again. All righty. So that was rather depressing. But apparently there is um. You know, a uh, place of uh, reverence on uh, Route 7, which we are, uh, we're not there yet. So, uh, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, uh, did I not have a rappel up? I did not have a rappel up, but I was just free balling this whole patch of grass. My goodness. Uh, coming on up here, uh, we can get to Charge Stone Cave, which I suppose, um, is there anything else we're missing from down here, though? Nope, doesn't look like it, so... Uh, we're here from Route 6, we get to Charge Stone Cave, which actually starts before we're actually in the cave, so, uh, interesting, fancy that. Um, but I think we've made quite a bit of progress here, well, I mean, we got through one route, I suppose, but we battled Bianca, um, we got, um, uh, we, we caught the attention of a bunch of weird, uh, seasonal scientists, uh, <laughs> and, uh, we found a crazy old man, um, screaming outside of, uh, a cave, apparently. So, uh, with, with that being said, I think uh, that's quite a bit uh, that we have accomplished in uh, such a short amount of time. So, if you liked what you saw, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, like, dislike, whatever you're feeling like. And until next time, guys, I will catch you later. Sharon is a big old nerd. Bianca, flighty as a bird. Juniper really likes to yap. Then there's me, the Pokemaniac. <laughs>